I'm here at Davos with Dan Jurgen, Vice Chairman of IHS Market. Tell us a little bit about the executives you're talking about. What's the mood here at Davos? I think the big underlying question at Davos this year is whatever happened to globalization? Because in previous years, of course, the development of globalization, how to deal with it, was a very major topic. Now, one is saying, what kind of retreat is there? What kind of barriers are going to go up? And that is uh, creating a lot of challenges and questions for companies to try and operate uh, globally. What are some of the specific concerns that you're hearing from, from executives on globalization? Well, the big things is about trade and about foreign investment mm -hmm. because there seemed to be, there was an understanding that there was a playbook, that this is how the world worked, but uh, now there's a question, does it really work that way and how do you adjust? And it was very striking here at uh, Davos this year that perhaps the biggest defender, the biggest proponent of globalization was the president of China. A surprise. Yes. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about energy executives you've talked to. What's the mood in, in the energy patch, uh, especially compared with last year? Uh, the difference between last year and this year is very striking. The mood is very different. Last year, it was still looking at a market that was very weak. Prices were continuing to go down. Uh, now there's a sense that the oil market is rebalancing, uh, that uh, obviously this OPEC, non-OPEC agreement is, is working but that the fundamentals look different as well. And so I think you see companies now moving out of a defensive posture, starting to do things and look at making new steps. Is your view that the OPEC deal is going to hold and that we're going to see compliance with the production cuts that were promised in November? Well, there's never been a perfect compliance yeah. with an OPEC deal, but I think so far we're seeing uh, the signs, both OPEC and non-OPEC, and what drove this deal, of course, is self-interest, which is people's budgets, and if they hadn't had a deal, they would have been looking at $40 a barrel oil, which would have been a tremendous problem for every country, and it's in their interest to hold the deal together, but the deal only has to last another five and a half months. This is not a lifetime commitment. We'll have to talk again in June and right. figure out what happens next. Thank you very much Thank for talking you. to us today. Thank you.